What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon episode, uh, and we're here on Leafy Lake. So let's get going. Uh, starting from scratch, build a theme park around a large lake. That is a very generic and broad objective. I'm okay with that. Uh, to have at least, or your objective is to have at least 500 guests in your park at the end of October, year three, with a park rating of at least 600. So this is 150 guests less than our park on Dynamite Dunes. I guess the only difference is that it is a completely barren park, as we saw uh, last episode. There's no pre-built rides to get us going. So, uh, we're going to do our fairly standard uh, opener sequence here, just build up some basic rides. I'm thinking I'm going to do kind of basic rides um, all the way around this portion, because the pathway is very narrow. And there's really not a ton of space to put a coaster in any of these areas. Maybe a station, but not to put the whole ride. So I think I'm going to stick my um, my more basic, my thrill rides and my gentle rides all around the edges here. And kind of put more of my coasters back in this section. Um, possibly over the lake as well. That is an option I am playing around with. So we'll see if that comes to fruition or not. I'm going to hate demolishing these trees. I remember... Um, I, I'm never a fan of deleting trees where avoidable, but it's not always avoidable. So, nope, I want to do my entrance over here and my exit right there. Okay, uh, looks like we're sticking with the dirt paths again for this one, just to keep things consistent. And let's do, let's do green pathways for this one. Make it kind of match the, the foliage, the, the greenery all the beauty that is the nature of this map. So we'll go ahead and open this, open the park, set the admission. We'll keep it free for now. Um, and then actually we might play around with the idea of leaving our admission free for the entirety of this park. Um, it's still a very early park. Uh, I think I said there were what, 21 total maps or uh, scenarios in the original expansion of this game or not original expansion, the original release of this game. Of this game. Uh, sorry, I'm combining what I'm saying with what I'm typing. Sunny side up. We're going to keep it egg-themed. Um, but yeah, since this is one of the first few maps in that original 21, I have a feeling, or actually I know, they only get more and more difficult as time goes on. So if I'm going to play around with, you know, possibly making less money, having my entrance fee free... I'd rather do it in the beginning rather than later because the objectives are typically much, much easier. So uh, we're going to kind of space these out here all along the um, the perimeter of the lake. I think that's kind of a cool idea for this this park. Drink stall, make it $1.30 so we profit a dollar. And then we'll put, we'll actually put probably two of everything around this just to give people easy options that are quickly accessible to wherever they're at. We'll put the, the restroom right by the front entrance because who doesn't like walking in and smelling the, the aromas of the facilities? And I wonder if we can actually charge money for this if people will go, not go on it, go in it. I hope they do. Uh, 10 cents. We'll see if that makes us any money. Uh, we'll go ahead and build one at the other end here. Uh, let's spin my view around here so I can see what I'm doing. That looks like a good spot right here. Why not? Open. Should still be 10 cents. Yep. And then we'll go ahead and build another one of these. Where do we do our drink stall? Right there. So we'll do this kind of in the opposite corner. Somewhat close to our restroom. And then lastly, an ice cream stall over here. It'll be on supports. And you can't change the support style like you can with uh, footpaths. Um, if I change it to that, you know, I, that doesn't affect anything on the ride. Or not the ride, the uh, ice cream stall. So, there's that. Okay, let's let's build something uh, that's not a drink stall. Uh, we'll get our basic stuff going again, like normal. 
So we've got that over here. Is anyone even writing that? A couple of people will just... No one's here yet. Take, take a moment to appreciate how quiet our park is right now. You can barely hear anyone or anything. <laughs> I'm going to compare that. I don't know if I'll compare it or just take note of it for comparison. Oh, I didn't want to remove that one. Oh, well. Um, it's going to look and sound a lot different by the end of this. I just kind of want to, you know, look at where we started, where we're coming from. Um, water wheel. Right on the water, and that's what a water wheel would do. I actually should probably put that over the water to, for that to be more appropriately named, but... Okay, this silence is bothering me just slightly. <laughs> I don't know if it is for you guys as well, but it's eerily quiet compared to what it was uh, at the end of our Dynamite Dunes Park. So here we go, saving on pathways. You don't have to build that. Oh, we need to get some... Uh... Okay, there we go. That's less... Less awkwardly, eerily quiet. Um, Merry-go-round... Happy go round. Lovely. Okay, that's a dollar. Let's paint this. What is it? Yellow and red. So it's going to always have that white. How does green and white look? Not horrible with the lake as a backdrop there. And if we do white there, does that. That's not horrible. Can we do a darker green? No. I actually kind of like that better. It's not what I wanted to do, but it works. Okay, we need some mechanics. Pizza stall. See, this is what I'm talking about, different stuff on different maps. We got that in our first month of our first year. We never got a pizza stall in the three years that... Um, I'm gonna hire four for now. Um, we never got a pizza stall in the three years that we were open uh, on Dynamite Dunes. So different stuff unlocks at different rates, uh, depending on the part. So, and... We will give these guys specific footpaths later, but for now, I have way too many, um, or I have way too much walkway for uh, my handyman to cover. That's a little excessive, I think, because if I were to place their footpaths now, I'd have to redo them all, because I think four people is way too few for all of this, so if I set them all now, I'd have to go back and give them smaller sections later, so... Um, for our mechanics, though, we will hire two, and we will give them specific walkways. For now, at least. We'll have to make sure every ride we build, we come back and uh, make sure that they still cover their respective areas. So that guy's covering those. Mechanic one. He's number one. Any of you guys ever watched Spongebob? Um, that episode... It's like Schmitty Werther Jaegerman Jensen or whatever his name was. It's like, he was number one. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my head. If you click on these ducks, they, they quack. It's cute. I think eventually, um, or not even eventually, but at some point, instead of them swimming, they'll just randomly get up and start flying. And so you'll be building a coaster like up in the sky and all of a sudden you'll see a duck fly across your screen. And you can click it, and it'll still quack. It's adorable. Okay, so that's two of our three basics. Our only thrill. Let's build that pizza stall real quick before I forget about it. And I know I said I, I like doing... Um, already making a dollar. That's good. Uh, I like making food courts, but... It really depends on the map. This one... I don't really feel like there's a central location or a good spot to put a food court. And also, it's so large that, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to have them kind of all over the place. I think it's going to make people happier. And that, and also in the beginning of our park, 
Um, this is a fairly large walkway, and there's really only rides on, what would that be, like a third of this, maybe a quarter of the whole loop? And so if I didn't have anything in this portion, on this bottom half or third or whatever, um, I would most likely be cutting off the walkways here because there's no point in my guests meandering about pathways that have nothing on them. You want to keep your guests in the area where you can take their money. So we're going to try to do that. And let's give them... Actually, let's start with... We need a coaster. We need to build something. Uh, so we're going to do the crazy caterpillar. And as we looked at last time... Um, yeah, I think it was the last episode. The um, the intensity of a ride. I think we can build this. Yeah, we'll do it right in this little nook right here. Uh, not the intensity. The excitement of the ride. I said that uh, the ladybird cars were better. It depends on how the ride is designed. Um, we won't make this a super long ride. If the uh, if the ride is super super quick, um, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, it, it really depends on how the uh, the up and downs of the ride are structured um, because like we saw when I started with the um, the first uh, attempt building it with the uh, actually we're going to do a steep drop right here just straight down um, the first attempt building with the rocket cars uh, you guys saw that the momentum didn't work so well um, I had to do some adjusting of the, the train length to get it to work um, and that's because of, sorry, and that's because of the, um, oh, we might have to buy some land here. I don't know if we're going to fit. No, we're not. Um, can we buy land? Yes, we can. Sweet. Uh, that was because the momentum of the cars varied um, with that change we made. So, okay, let's we'll go wide here. No, we can't do that. Can we helix up? We'll helix up in the other direction. Helix up small. Now we'll do we'll do a large one to start. Can I expand on this path here? And then we're gonna have to go small because the ride's in the way. Am I doing up or down? How is that? Oh, I think I did down. I wanted to do up. There we go. I was like, how is that getting in my way? What is going on? And we need to continue the helix up. That'll work. And we'll have our entrance and exit on this side right underneath there. So that should work just fine. Um, I'm trying not to make this too long since our station's fairly small and we're probably only going to have two uh, cars worth so um can i one two three one two three yes i can but i don't know if this height's going to be acceptable so we'll go straight here and then curve it can we go under that no we gotta go one further i think And I'm, I'm thinking or hoping that I have learned my lesson from last time. Actually, let's do a down helix there. That could work. Um, helix down small. Um, I'm hoping I have learned my lesson from last time I built one of these in that I went from 16 to 14, but I went, made it go immediately back down instead of straight. So hopefully the little bit that makes it over here will pull it down and give it enough speed to continue. Because I know that was an issue with the last time. I was making sure that... Oh, we just got a hedge maze. <laughs> That's a fun thing to build. Uh, it's definitely a different style of building, for sure. But we'll get to that here in a sec. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I'm trying to keep my failures in mind from previous episodes. So... see if we can go back down that I don't know if that's going to be intense or really fun and you can't do a um I don't believe you can at least that doesn't change the track piece does it no so you can't do a uh, 
steep drop, a 60 degree drop to a flat drop and bank it at the same time. Uh, you can do a narrow one and turn it at the same time or a less steep one, but that's not what this is. So um, we're gonna have to delete some trees here. Okay, good, we didn't have to delete the land. I was right about that. Mm, no, we'll do a large one here because I want to do a little zigging and zagging, although I don't think that's going to work. No, it's most definitely not. That's okay. And we'll go straight for a little bit. And then I'm going to helix up, drop back, and we will end this sucker. Helix up small. That doesn't fit. We'll back it off one. I think it was hitting that track right there. I'm hoping this has enough uh, momentum to make it over all this. It should, but we shall see. Uh, we're not going to be able to make this turn. So we got to... What am I running into? That track at nine height? Yeah. Okay, so we'll keep it low for a little bit. Then can I raise up to eight? Yes, I can. We're gonna try to snake our way through here. And then, oh, it's gonna be just, no, it's not. Threats. Okay, what if we do another one here? And then, is that tree in my way? If you could even call it that. We'll do a helix down small. Nope, that's gonna get in the way of the track. We gotta keep it normal. And then let's see if I can... So the helix is gonna stay in the same... If I do two, each helix is a 180. So if I'm wanting it to end up facing this direction, I need to start it facing that direction. So I will turn it to the right. Tree in the way. There's always trees in my way. Uh, actually, I don't know if I'm even going to have space to do what I'm wanting to do. I am most certainly not. Okay, so we'll go straight. We'll drop it. This is going to go underground. No, I can't do that either. So many things I'm wanting to do that I can't. Man, I'm having to deforest so much of this. I don't want to be doing that, but... Sometimes you were left with no choice. This ended up being a little longer than I anticipated, so we'll add some more station here. Give it an entrance. Roller coaster in the way. Is it in the way if I do it all the way at the end? No, it's not. All right. All right, let's give this baby a test. Oh, and I did get three cars with that. Awesome. So we don't have the option of the... Uh, that made me think of this. Oh, this one started us with maximum funding. And with everything checked. That's awesome. I'm just going to say, I just wasted a little bit of time not doing that, but... Okay, I, th I think this will be good. It's not going too fast. That might be a little bit too fast, but... I think we'll get away with this. Hey, on the upside, at least it it completed a loop on its first try. It didn't take, what, three, four attempts uh, like last time. Lovely path. Zigging and zagging all over the place. We're not going to name this thing Zigzag, don't worry. I'm not going to be that lazy. I guess we'll continue testing it. And... What color do we want to do this? High, high, medium. I'll take it. A little bit more intense than it is exciting. But that's all right. Um, so we've got excitement of five. Let's do... I want to see if making my entrance cheaper allows me to make my rides more expensive. So I'm going to start this one at 350. It's not, it's not amazing. It's not awful, but... 
certainly not awful. It's acceptable in my book. No, we're going to paint it first. Maybe that'll give us some inspiration for our name. Um, not brown. Brown is ugly. At least in this location. We might do brown for a wooden coaster, but brown metal, I just, I don't find that appealing. Ooh, and this is one we can do different pieces, different colors. We'll save that for a different ride. What are our entrance styles? Plain or canvas? No, that's wooden. Canvas? No, that looks like a carnival. We're going to do plain. Uh, main color scheme, yes. All right, let's just start playing around with stuff here. That's kind of a pretty color. A little aqua turquoise-ish. That's the support. What would go well with that? Green? No. Ooh. I kind of like that gonna change the support so it doesn't look too similar but uh if we make this like a oh that's so bright like purple no that clashes too i think that's what i just said i wanted to avoid doing maybe brown for the supports will look okay maybe a lighter brown i think that i think that's a yeah we'll go with that for now and then all in the same colors we'll do different colors her train again. Hey, we're already getting upgrades for rides we have. Let's go ahead and um, we'll add some more trees back in there to make this more fitting of a name. No, any name just by itself, it's never as fun as calling it the something. The Forester. I will add, let's go ahead and open this now that we got a name for it. It's 350. Uh, we'll paint the cars here in a sec. I just, I just wow, I can't speak today. Uh, I just want to add some more trees in here just to kind of, everything's too big for there. Um, what are the trees that are already in existence in this park? So we've got those along the lake. Let me zoom out so I can kind of see here. So we do have some of, that is this tree, I think? Whatever I just built, this one, I don't know. Um, and definitely a lot of those pine trees. I wanna kinda try to stick with what's already here, so. Just so we're not going too overboard. But if I can add some scenery in here and if I do a small tree, will that work? I don't have enough cash. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be enough for now then. Um, what did I need to do? Now that I said, now that we have a new mechanic, is it mechanic number two that's responsible for over here? Yes, it is. You are going to cover this ride as well. That'll probably be, probably be the extent of his walkway, unless we build something else in here. I'll cover that as well, but that's pretty small, or that's a pretty good, pretty good foot, uh, wow, I need to stop recording videos so early in the morning. I just woke up, I went for a run, and showered, and here I am. I'm still in the process of waking up, so my my words are not uh, quite coherent thoughts yet. So I apologize for that. I'll probably stray away from uh, doing that as much in the future. Uh, okay, let's... That one's green, I like it. Green and black looks good. Um, would brown look horrible? That's the one that's going right now. That's kind of like a goldish brown. I don't think that fits so well. That's a little better. I like that. And then we're going to, before we, no, we're going to finish this before we go on to what I was going to say. I need to work on finishing my thoughts. I know I'm not, I stumble over my words all the time. My intros and outros are not consistent in the slightest. They might get there if I find something that sticks. But for right now, you know, you got to deal with me and my uh, my brain farts because they are plentiful. We'll just do gray. That works. We are in the red right now. Um, I don't know how much money I can charge for all this stuff. We'll see if people will do 150 on this. I don't know. I got to really start upping my prices here. How exciting is this? 170. We'll do 150 for this one as well. I want to try to avoid doing this. How much of a loan do I have? 10 grand? 
Um, we'll cover this. I know we still haven't covered anything in this finance tab, um, but just a quick note on it. You start out with a loan and that's the money you start with. We started with 10 grand. You can pay it back, um, but until you do, you get incurred interest. So this is per month up here. So for March, you can see we're spending the $400 a month on research. Um, building rides, we spent just over two and a half grand in the month of March. That took March, April, and May. We're now in June to do all of that. So, uh, company value, we're in the negative. Oh, man. Like I said, this is a, uh, a trial run to see if we can get away with it. If we can't, we're going to have to go back to charging people money. And we might kind of do a mix of that, uh, charge people money in the beginning and then less money later on. And we're going to make this any load. We got enough cars. Um, oh, and this is another cool feature. I don't know if I've used it. Leave if another train arrives at the station. So it doesn't matter how full the cart is. As soon as another one becomes available to get on, the one in the front will leave. So if I check that, um, I think I can still set it to full load. So now it won't leave until the cart's full or a available car a train has made it to the station. So let's check and see if that works like I'm thinking it does. So we'll just wait for that guy to get done, which he almost is. And then this guy should launch immediately as soon as people get on the ride. So it has arrived at the station and that one departed. Wonderful. So now there's not much of a wait. Okay, I'm gonna do... I gotta consolidate my park. This is... People are way too spread out right now. I'm gonna close down everything on this half. And... Yeah, we'll keep it to there. And we'll demolish that one. And then we'll put a no entry sign on the other side until it becomes vacant or until this area becomes vacated. And then where did we want to put it? It's not how much I rotated my view. There we go. For the time being, we'll put it right here. I don't want anyone going past my ride. And so now these people are going to take, this guy's going to take forever to go all the way down and back since he's moving so slow. But... If I can get them to go to stay within this area, there's a good chance they will spend more money at my park. So, and even this is kind of a long ways down, but I do plan on building more. So hopefully that will remedy our cash deficit. Um, what date it is, or what date is it? 24th of June. Are there any other small rides we can build real quick just to boost our revenue? Um, Nothing super exciting, or even moderately exciting. Hedge maze, I guess. We don't even have the money to do it. Okay, I'm going to take a bit to figure out my money situation, contemplate what I plan on doing as far as that goes. I can take out a loan all the way, I think, to 25 grand. Okay, that's a good money maker. We'll be building that very soon. Um, I think you can go up to 25 grand with your loan. Uh, I don't plan on doing that because that's going to put me even more in debt. You can see the interest. It's not a lot, but it does factor in a little bit. So, okay, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to take a sec to figure out what I'm going to do uh, money-wise. I'll probably have to take out another loan to do much of anything. Um, but until then, take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>